Well, certainly part of the discovery for me was the discovery of the system of politics of this country, which I really wasn't familiar with at all. And um, even to the extent uh, feeling the need to go back to the origin of this country, the forming of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and Declaration of Independence, um, to get a strong feeling of how this system of democracy actually functions. Um, in terms of the qualities of that man, it's so, these are questions that are really hard to answer because I think I might know more in time to come, but at this time I still feel probably for an unwillingness to let go of the experience, I still feel connected to it and I don't really know, um, I can't define what the influence was, but who couldn't wish to have the in influence of that extraordinary man have some lasting impression on their lives. I'd love to believe that was so, but it seems somehow almost um, uh, um, presumptuous to assume that it will, but I would hope so. Yeah. Um, it seems like the room was with Bill Clinton coming in. Yes. Well, I, th I think you'd have to ask uh, Mr. Spielberg about, about that. I'm, I'm sure, I, I know their friends, and uh, they, their, their friendship goes back quite a long way, and I've no doubt that conversations led to that. But, but um, I mean, I'm still, I, I haven't had a chance, actually, to find a corner somewhere and just reflect on that moment um, when he spoke about our film. And I was very honored to have a conversation with him afterwards um, and to hear his thoughts about, about the man, about his achievements, and, and about... I, I wouldn't wish to try and put that in a sentence or two, but, um, but yes, I mean, what, a, what an incredible privilege to have him, a Lincolnian scholar in his own right, speak about our film in that way. Mm. Oh, um, how big a surprise was it for you? Did the table know he was going to come out to the Clinton, Dr. President Clinton? A couple of us. <laughs> I didn't know when, though. I mean, it still was amazing, because even knowing it, it still was amazing <laughs> to see him there. Um, so uh, graciously uh, taking part in this evening, which, you know, when we enter into different worlds, I, 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 I'm not quite sure how it came about, but I went to the correspondence dinner this year, and... I dare say I felt as utterly bewildered by that experience as he probably does by something like this, although he, you know, he's been around. But, um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was an unforgettable thing for us that he, he took the time to do that this evening. Mm. So, uh, I remember in Rome, some of your first times with you for the movie Ben Milan, yeah. the movie, the book, and Your first movie and your love for cinema until now. Are you more cynical? Sometimes I'm cynical. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Some actor is tired to end. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think I am. And I think, but, you know, but I exercise in a, a, a rare privilege, which is that I work when I feel a compelling need to do that work. And when I don't, I do other things. Um, now, I, everyone has a different way of approaching the work that they do, and some people are absolutely compelled to do what they need to do because they have to pay bills, and there's, no, there's nothing unworthy about that. It's an honorable reason, but, but I'm lucky enough to... I, I think I made a decision many years ago that I, in the hope that I would never become cynical about the work, which was important to me, I felt there's, there's a possibility of some nobility in the work, but it's not easy to find that. Very often the work falls short of that. Mostly it does. Um, so I didn't want to find myself in my middle years, as I am now, just doing that because that's what I do without any real sense of delight 
uh, and, and nothing changed. I mean, I, I, going back to that moment you're describing, I'm trying to remember how that happened. I, I think I'd already done my beautiful laundrette and room with a view when Saul and uh, Zantz and Phil Kaufman asked me to do The Unbearable Lightness of Being. And that was a, it was a whole different kind of a, an experience for me, that. Um, but but I, I, I'm not aware that anything changed. But I think um, I knew for nothing that I had to allow myself time, not just outside of the work, but also within the work, that I needed time. I work at a very slow rhythm. and. It's good if you get to know what your rhythm is and then just don't dance to somebody else's beat. Um, you mm. play, it's just one more question. Mm. You play uh, important, well, you play this important historical Sorry. Yeah. You play yes. historical roles. Do you mm. collect anything from the past? Uh, collect in what roles sense? Well, I, I have, I mean, obviously I have collections of uh, research books that I've needed over the years, so, I mean, I, I would never wish to get rid of them. It's unlikely I'll read many of them ever again, but they, they have certain kind of talismans, I suppose. Um, but I'm not a collector uh, in the general sense. I don't really like the feeling of collecting things. <laughs>